This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Fundamentals. Free play! Now it's up to you. Use Agent's Code to help you explore this world. Awesome. I've been waiting for this. And so they gave us a few functions that we can even use. So, hmm. Well, first, let's see. Is there an edge of the map? I'm not sure if it will keep going or if we're contained. Let's try this. Oh, nope. There is an edge. Okay, that's what I needed. So, I think I'm going to move forward. Great. And I'm going to move forward three more times using this repeat loop. Let's see where that gets me. Perfect. And then I want to turn right. Forward once. Forward twice. And... I'm going to speed up the tape here. Well, I guess it's not a tape. I'm going to speed this up so you don't have to watch me go through this full process of figuring out what I want to do. Um, I definitely need to use some repeat loops, and I make use of the function. It's easiest, though, to create your code, uh, to write your code, and then figure out what to put in your function, what to put in repeat loops, especially while learning. It's great to lay out all the code so you can see what you the logic and how you want to go about it and then figure out how to do it in the easiest uh, in the easiest and most programming uh, correct way so I eventually arrive at that hopefully so ta-da that is my program right I use these two functions, and I have a solid big magenta stripe, I guess. Um, what it's doing here, when we click run, I move forward from where I started. I turn left, and then three times I move forward. So I could have just put move forward three times, but easier to do that. And then I turn right, so I face this way, and I start using my place wool function. So when the computer sees this, it says place wool. What uh, do do? Oh, here we are. Once it hits this, it runs all the code inside. The first thing it does is I move forward seven times all the way to here. Then once it's repeated itself seven times, move forward once, twice, it's done and it drops below and now it repeats this line eight times, these two. I place wool, then I move back once, twice, third time I place wool, move back, fourth time. And then once it's all done, keep in mind, it just goes back to where we asked it to run and runs the next line and now I'm going to repeat three times over move over and this is what's that oh it's this function where I turn I move forward I turn right and I move forward so I'm ready to place the next row okay so I run that and then once it's done it runs place will which I go forward I then go back just like I did placing the wool once that's done I hit the bottom of this loop and we go back through it again. I place, I move over, I place wool again, and a third time, and then it's done. Ta-da! Hopefully you make something really, really cool. Functions are powerful. I'm excited to see what else they have in store for us.